Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. Today we are reacting to another episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Before we jump into it, uh, please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. It means a lot. Now, it's been a little bit since I last saw Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've had some stuff going on, had some other shows that we added to the to the lineup. We added Lucifer, um, and then we're still going through Umbrella Academy. Um, but last time on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it was kind of more of a, a setup episode. Um, we had Nathaniel invading the base and, and stealing Gemma. Uh, we had Jai Ying and Daisy kind of dealing with their mother-daughter tumultuous relationship. Tumultu tumultuous? I think that's the right word. Um, and then uh, Nathaniel killed Jai Ying. So she found out about Daisy and, you know, she felt all bad because she's been a horrible mother to her. Uh, granted, it wasn't the current version of her. It was a different version of her. But still... Uh, that's gotta suck knowing that, like, your daughter had a horrible life because of a future version of you. Um, and then, while she's trying to protect Daisy, uh, Nathaniel just snaps her neck. Now, you know, her healing powers are slightly confusing and haven't necessarily been always fully explained. Um, some people are, were saying that in order for her to have her, like, long life, that she had to physically like take the life force from other people but I feel like that's not true because otherwise she would have been a more like vindictive person previously like I feel like that years and years of that would have already taken its toll on her and she already would be this like vindictive militive militant milit militant person um so i i'm not sure if she actually physically had to like steal the life force from people to heal or if that's just i don't know or if she just like could do that i i thought that she just like had some natural healing abilities in general maybe i'm wrong i don't know i might i might just be dumb um but that was episode 10 uh going into episode 11 it's called brand new day that could mean anything. Um, we know that Gemma was just taken by Nathaniel because they're trying to, they're trying to get to fit somehow. So they're going to try and, I assume they're going to take that thing out of her brain and, and find fits in the future because he keeps screwing up their plans. And then I assume Daisy is not going to be very happy, uh, <laughs> with Nathaniel. She's going to be on a quest for a little bit of vengeance right now, maybe. Um, you know, she wasn't super close to Zhai Ying anymore. I mean, she... I mean, I guess... Well, she... She felt a certain way about her in the previous seasons, and she actually was going to let her kill her, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then her dad saved it, saved the situation. Um, so I think she still loved her mom and was very forgiving of her mom. Uh, so her dying in this previous episode, I don't think it's going to sit very well with Daisy. I mean, we saw in the previous episode, she almost like raged out and destroyed everything just in that brief few seconds. So something tells me if she has a more like driven goal ahead of her, she's just going to dismantle this man. Um, yeah. What's going to happen with, um, the Legend of Korra? I think Coulson brought brought her in at the end of the last episode. Um, yeah, lots of interesting stuff could happen still. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, there's after this after this episode, there's only two left because it was the season finale. That was it was like a two hour season finale, um, and I I thought I'd, I I told myself I was gonna I was gonna keep up. Uh, and I just keep falling behind. Real life keeps coming into play. I'm sorry about that, my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. fans. <laughs> all eight of you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, yeah, again, if you enjoy my reactions at all, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, but otherwise, let's jump into Season 7, Episode 11 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
Oh, Who she's so Simmons? angry. Where did they take Simmons? Daisy, that's enough. Not until she talks. Put Daisy. her down, Agent Johnson. That's an order. Okay, good. She follows orders still. You deserve that. Well, there's no reason to hurt each other. <laughs> I'm here to help. No, you're not. Oh, exactly. Save lives, of course. No, you're not. Get out of here. I want to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're a liar. You liar. You're a lying liar who lies. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Just like Nakatomi Plaza. Yes! Die hard. Where's Jake Peralta when you need him? Yikes. Yo. Your brother. Mother effer. Yo, if he just gets caught that easily, this isn't your you universe. Right now. You're not in your own timeline. Proof this is a new timeline. I knew it, yeah. He gets it. That old one that you were fighting to preserve is long gone, Director. You s Why not let S.H.I.E.L.D. make this universe the best it can be? Then how do you plan on doing that? Killing. Yeah. I'm not sure you understand the model yeah. here, lady. Yeah. It's not your motto. It's your method. Do you want me to list the people you've chosen to kill to protect others? There's no need. We've all made hard choices. Yeah, that's uh, she's kind of right in a sense, but easy choices. They're both right, but also like she's wrong. I'm sorry you didn't get that. I'm sorry you threw it away. Oh, snap. I just want to spend time together. Sybil said, there is no future where Daisy Johnson lets her sister fight alone. She was right. Gemma's her sister, not you! <laughs> not gonna let Gemma fight alone. You are blocking me. How? I'm not doing anything. I oh, yeah. She's still got the thing in her head, so she like can't even do it if she wanted to. Okay. John, bring in the grandson. Oh no! I'm trying to play hero. He doesn't know anything. Please, you can't. Hey, I was just coming to. That's different. You know, I learned a long time ago not to let somebody do something stupid on their own. God, yeah, Seuss is the freaking best. The thing is, I already have a sister to save. Gemma! Her name is Gemma Simmons. Gang, gang! I called it. Let's go. As long as you know what you're doing. She absolutely does not. <laughs> you have flown this thing before, right? Nah. Nah. Not even once. A gun? That's your last chance to stay by. Yo, he's in love with you. He's not going anywhere. How are you going to get the hangar doors open without director authorization? Max coming with. He's got his shotgun axe. This is the only way to bring back Deacon Simmons. By stealing the Queen Jet? Max ready to go. He's got his bag. He's got his shotgun axe. How's this bomb predicament? Hell yeah, Max. Let's go. Give me that seat before I change my mind. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Love it. The whole gang, just <laughs> one after another, they get on the ship. We're all leaving. <laughs> I love it. Excellent shot. old man deserved it. Find a way to get my stomach feels Whoa. Yeah, anti-gravity, son. Yep. You want to see control? 
Yeah, you're in a special room. Did she just turn off all the power? Maybe it wasn't a special room? Did she do that on purpose? And lowered our firewalls. And Sybil's in. I knew it. That was the whole, she wasn't there for good reasons. Enoch said that this will be the team's last mission together. You guys are my family. I don't know who I am without you guys. No, Daisy. No. You know exactly who you are with anyone. <laughs> in, the, in the time loops we kiss. Whatever, he's a dork. He's supposed to mess up because he doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you smiling? Because yo yo owes me 20 dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Won't be the same. Hmm. It's never the same. Could be better though. That's okay. God, this show's just constantly preparing you for the end. Why won't with this Enoch's work? speech and then now this, like, it won't be the same. That's okay. She knows. Dude just disappears. Oh my god, okay, 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 you got me. The automatic lock, sir. Well, that, that's one step along the way. There. Now we're a little bit closer to it. Does that feel better? God, she's a psycho. She is insane. <laughs> There's no name that comes free of consequence. We have to grant Ward. Uh, okay, well, maybe. She's just a child right now. You're not against killing me. She is. She, so not, she didn't want to kill that kid. Garrett Ward would have been worse. We've That's. Seen world I Ward doubt that. Put, where he was put on the right path by the right person, people can change. Yeah. Even you. My mom thought. They've literally too. seen a world where Ward is the good guy. Now, this is who I am, who I meant to be. Someday, I'm going to show her that. Yang's here. How about we show her right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. She doesn't know. She doesn't know that Nathaniel Strait clapped her. You know, as much as she's, like, rebelling against her mom right now, she probably still loves her. Max, like, do you not care? Sir? Oh, what like a do? dad. What are your intentions with my girl? Intentions. Well, then you better get some, and quick, because this thing is coming for you. This thing. <laughs> She's into you, and I'm not even sure if she knows it yet. But pretty soon she'll figure it out, and when she does, watch out, because when she gets something into her head, she won't stop. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. But listen, I'm not about to let her get hurt. You hear what I'm saying? I think so. He'll beat you to death, you're... Sousa. Threatening me, sir. No. Worse. Not just me. Every every one of them. Every member of this team. Will beat you to death. That you never even seen. I hear you. Loud and clear. They won't even use the technology. They'll just use their fists. The man out of time and quake. <laughs> it's like a damn comic book. Hold on. What did you just call Quake. Uh, Quake. It's, uh, well, it's a superhero, man. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I said, man, I might be getting a bit jealous. All the time you two are spending together. Fitz, I think we're maybe close to a working design. <clears throat> well, I'm not. Can you give us a moment? Yes. It's true. Yo, Enoch, that means leave. <laughs> 
Oh, to yourselves. Of course. Could just take some time to live. Thanks. If we built a nice home for ourselves here. Could spruce it up. Live. They deserve to just yeah. chill for a minute. We could just be. Is this about the blood work? No. Um, yeah. But because we deserve it. Regardless. We don't even know if it... What it's blood work? Is he sick? Is she sick? Like is one of them sick? It's okay, she can heal. I mean, that's her power. She just... She just needs some help. What if it worked? <laughs> Take my energy, come on. Take my energy. Go on. I think she's gonzo. Like cooked for good. Not not fun. Your mother died protecting Daisy from him. Saying goodbye is hard enough. Yeah, but you won't remember what you've forgotten. You won't know. Where are you? But I'll feel the guilt inside the guilt for having left a part of me being torn away. I don't want to forget. 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 It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. And then she forgot. Guessing from his attitude that he didn't find Fitz. Fitz? Who's Fitz? What? Johnny wasn't perfect. What? Is your love you kidding me? She fully forgot Fitz? No. You think you feel what's inside me? Yes. She knows exactly what's inside you. And she's way better at fighting than you. <laughs> You didn't have power, she'd beat you to death if she wanted to. Matrix! Let's go. That was sick. And Garrett, there to take her. Time to go, sunshine. Good timing, good timing. She might have killed me. Welcome. Quake? Sorry, what now? Nothing, just happy to help Quake, whatever you need. Are you being funny? Yeah. Is it funny? Not that that's what you like to be called, Quake. I, the press called me that. I mean, you should probably put a Q on your utility belt, so people know it's you. That's really smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. make fun of the person who can literally turn you to dust. Yeah, you can quake me. No, I get it. That's why they call you that. No, kiss. Kiss. <laughs> Do it again. Like what's happening. Yo, he's he's flirting hard though. I like it. Yo. They're killing Shield. All of it. They're destroying Shield. Yo. Yikes, bro. Shield is never dead, though, until the last agent is gone. Don't kiss her. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Kill him. Kill him. Laser beam through the chest. Come on. That's... Ugh. Gross. The, that's not the people that I wanted to kiss. <clears throat> okay, that was a solid episode. I, I liked that episode way more than last episode. Some big things happened, some fun things happened, and I am here for it. Uh, so, yeah, so we start out with the ship, uh, the Zephyr, going to space because they want to contact the Chronicoms. Meanwhile, Daisy's just straight pissed. She's on a mission, and she's about to murk Korra until Mac is like, yo, put her down, come on. 
Uh, and you know, she's just like super mad. She goes in to talk to Cora, and you know Cora's Cora's being all all snarky and being like, "We know everything that's gonna happen." And Sybil said you would never let your sister fight alone, and I was like, "Yeah, she's not. She's Daisy or D not Daisy. Gemma's her sister. She's going to help Gemma." And she does exactly that. She's like, all right, peace out. I don't need to talk to you. Getting out of here. Uh, let's be unpredictable. And then Sousa, being Sousa and being in love, he's like, you going somewhere? You're going to need some help. And she's like, you ever done anything wrong in your life before? Uh, and he's like, not on purpose. And she's like, well, now you're going to do that. So come on. Because of course she needs to take her boyfriend with her. More sirens? Are you kidding me? What is going on? <laughs> That's like the fifth police car and a fire truck that have gone by. Sorry. Um, and then <laughs> she, they're on the they're on the Quinjet, and she's like, "Yeah, this, this will be easy. I've seen everyone do this." And he's like, "Are you kidding me? You've never you've never even attempted to fly this before." And she's like, "Well, I've I've seen it happen. It can't be hard." Meanwhile, she's gonna she's about to try this like super complicated like trajectory into space to meet up with the Zephyr like rocket scientists do this and like have to have a billion degrees in order to make that happen and she's just like ah, I've seen it happen a few times I'll, I'll just make it work and <laughs> and Seuss is like I'm gonna die uh and then Mac luckily comes on board you knew he was already ready to go because he's got he had his shotgun axe on his back he's like all right it's freaking party. How's this front predictable? Access codes unlocked. We're gone. Um, and they're they're going on a on a little mission to 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 break some stuff up, bust some heads. And I'm psyched. I'm pumped for it. Um, I did like the before that happened though. I, I liked the little back and forth that Daisy and and Cora had of like. Um. You know, Cora's trying to be like, oh, yeah, like, my mom had me trapped. Like, I thought I had a happy childhood. And Daisy's like, didn't you? Like, I feel like this is a, a big thing with a lot of people. Maybe not a lot of people, but I, I feel like I've seen this sentiment a lot in various circles online of, like, people grew up a certain way and then they left home or whatever and they're like oh i thought i had a happy childhood turns out i didn't and it's like did did you not have a ha like if you were happy as a child you had a happy childhood like just because your a viewpoint later on has changed a, about like what it what it means to you now like you you were happy as a child like that's not it doesn't negate your happy childhood um, and then Daisy's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Or Cora's like, I'm sorry you, your mother didn't love you. And Daisy says, I'm sorry you threw that away. Like, like, Jiaying definitely loved her. And she loved her back. And then she's thrown this away for what I think she's slowly realizing is just more confinement and more being used. Like, she thinks, she thinks that Nathaniel has saved her because she's like special to him or you know he just like was walking along and just saw her trying to kill herself and was like oh a random girl I can help you know she seems to maybe think that like I don't think if she I don't think she's fully grasping the fact that like she was picked because he wanted to use her like the only reason he picked her is because of her connection with Daisy and Jai Ying and all these people like, that's literally the only reason she's alive. So she's not fully grasping that she's just being used. Like, and, you know, May's trying to tell her that later on. Like, he he just wants chaos, and you were the most effective way to make that happen. Like, you're just an object to him. Like, he doesn't care about you. Um, and I, I don't think she fully wanted to hear that yet, um, which sucks. What else, what else, what else? What else, what else, what else? Yeah, I liked, back back to the uh, back to the, the ship with Daisy and Sousa, you know, she's saying, oh, wouldn't let, wouldn't let me fight 
alone or wouldn't let my sister fight alone. I have a sister. Her name is Gemma Simmons. I love that. Uh, particularly, you know, because those two characters have been through so much, but like the actual actresses, uh, Chloe Bennett and Elizabeth Henstridge, are like unbelievably close. They're like super best friends, uh, which is kind of funny. But like, like Deke, the uh, Jeff Ward who plays Deke, Chloe Bennett and Elizabeth Henstridge are are like thick as a thick as a fiddle. Not thick as a fiddle. Uh, fit as a fiddle. Thick as thieves. Uh, they're just tight AF. Like all all three of them are like best friends. And so just like being aware of that outside real life uh, component and connecting those things in the show is super cool to me. Um, I like that Coulson, Coulson's like somewhat embracing his, um, his computer side. Like that's been something that he's actively almost been rebelling against in a sense. Like there are certain aspects of it that he's, he's, been okay with you know like when he's fighting and he's super strong and he's like oh this is cool like the aspects of being a computer that he thinks are cool he's kind of been uh embracing those but he's he hasn't wanted to like embrace the fact that maybe like mentally or you know yeah like mentally cognitively like he's got non-human aspects to him because he he thinks that being that means he doesn't have a soul fully but now, like, with talking, when Enoch was dying and, and he was like, you know, Enoch feels lonely. He has a soul. Like, I think Coulson is realizing, like, even though he's maybe robotic in a sense and not completely what he was before, like, he still has a soul. He is still Coulson, weirdly. Um, and so now when he's being presented in this episode with, things that cognitively a computer would only be able to do and not a person. I think he's somewhat embracing that. Like he's he's looking at the code and he's doing things that he didn't know he could do. Uh, and when he's asked, are you a computer genius now? He's just like, yeah, <laughs> I am. Uh, and I love it. Um, like he's, I, I love that he's embracing that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, Sybil's being creepy. I know only hunger now. What the piss is that? Um, I liked, I liked Mac and Daisy's conversation on the ship of like, you know, talking about, is this the last mission? Um, uh, I'm talking about like, is this the last mission? You know, Daisy, in a sense, Daisy's kind of like us, like as a viewer, she's connected with us where we didn't have this show or whatever before it came along. And now that we've had this show for seven seasons, we've kind of, we've developed this connection to them and we don't want to see him go. Uh, Daisy, before the show started, like she didn't have a family. She didn't, I mean, she may have had a few friends, but like she essentially was living alone um, in a van like doing nothing uh and she she's commented on this throughout the throughout the series that like this team is her family um you know her actual family has died her her mom is has now died twice for her her dad isn't dead but in in a sense is dead because he had all memory of her taken away and he was placed into a new situation um and so the family that she has developed over the course of the season she's told by Enoch, like, this is your last mission together. I think for her, that is just, that sucks. Like that's along with everything that's happening. It, it's just compounding on top of her just being like, oh, like, like I, like, if you think about your family and the possibility of you and your mom or dad or sisters and brothers or whatever becoming like, if you're someone that you spend all the time with them, like, every day with them, becoming someone who, you know, maybe you talk on the phone every once in a while, or, hey, I'm in town, like, yada yada, like, that sucks. <laughs> like, uh, it's almost like, um, I mean, it's not necessarily the same thing, but, like, high school or college best friends, like, a lot of friends in college 
you spend all the time with them. Like you are surrounded by them for the majority of your time there for like four straight years. And then leaving college, you you go from those people you would see every day almost to people that you maybe just talk on the phone with and it sucks like losing that community is awful um and so her being like I, you know I don't have anything like I don't know who I am without you and then Mac transitioning that into being like you are who you are no matter who you're with like you are you you're this headstrong intelligent strong beautiful person and like you're you're already finding someone like you've already found the person that you're gonna be with after this is done and he nods over at susa and she's they have this cute exchange there where she's like yo we kissed <laughs> like she's so into him and i love it like i wanted her to be with deke last season and kind of early this season but now like that's her and susa are a thing i'm just oh all about it but no, like, I, I I love that this show, like, with Enoch's speech when he was dying and now Mac a little bit, like, this show is preparing you for, uh, and even, like, Gemma talking to Fitz later on, like, this show is preparing you for it not being around. <laughs> um, like, this show's been going for so long. Like, this is one of my favorite shows of all time, and, you know... You know, Enoch being like, you know, when I'm when I'm gone, I'm gone, and and you can't come with me, and that's the end, and that's okay, and you know, Mac now saying, it's not gonna be the same. Like there, other shows will come, that you will enjoy. Uh, other shows will happen. Like these people will be in other shows. It won't be the same, and that's okay. Like you can think back fondly and remember the seven seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that were probably some of the best TV in a long, long time. Like, just consistently good, best superhero stuff available. Other than, like, the Marvel shows, but they have an infinitely larger budget. I mean, this is a Marvel show, but, like, the Netflix Marvel shows. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, it, it had a little bit of a rough start, but that was just character development. And it's... It, it's going to be a show that you people think back on and be like, man, I, I did not appreciate this for what it was when I had it. Um, and it's just wonderful. Um, <clears throat> Nathaniel, Nathaniel is, uh, he's, he's going in Gemma's head and, and kind of figuring out, you know, what led to this, where is Fitz? And it's possible that he can't find him because Fitz is dead. You know, I didn't. I didn't want to think about Fitz being dead, because he's my favorite character in this show. Probably one of my favorite characters in the history of television. Um, but they they had a few lines and stuff in this episode that makes me think that Fitz is dead. Um, one of them they mentioned the blood work. I don't. I don't think that was something that we previously had heard last season or before that. Um, like Fitz, like I don't know what would have happened with his blood. Maybe he he got sick somehow, and you know he doesn't have a whole lot of time with Gemma left to begin with. So he's like, hey, let's just let's chill. Let's just be together. Let's live and use the time we have left to live like we can finish this thing at our own pace you know it doesn't matter when we finish it if it's a time machine we'll just jump back to the same spot um and then they they had a few subtle lines later on where he's like you know once we knew about whatever and she's like i don't want like i don't care i think i think fitz is gone like he's he's dead maybe and i don't want to hear that but it sucks uh, let's talk about Cora's, Cora's plan of killing, like, her thought process. Um, she's essentially Project Insight, like, the thought process of just killing 
but instead of like protecting Hydra, it's protecting the uni the timeline, like making it a better place, I guess. Um, so she, they've got what, like 30 names, she said, the first one being Grant Ward. I think she just picked that name because she felt it would have the most personal impact to them. Um, but, you know, both sides of this coin are, are right to a, to a, a certain extent. Like, she's like, hey, if we just, if we kill these people, like, this, we can't, you know, you don't have to worry about effing your timeline because it's, you're in a different timeline. Like, she's, she's like, Coulson knows it. Like, this is not the same timeline. Think, so many things have already happened where you don't have to worry about, you know, saving your old timeline. You could just, you could try to make a, a new one better. Like, all the horrible things that have happened, you could change all that. Um, would Thanos still come? Who knows? Uh, but, you know, she's, she's saying, like, you kill Grant Ward, you know, Rosalind is still alive, uh, Andrew's still alive, the people you guys loved are still alive, you know, horrible things that people have done to you don't happen, and, but then, you know, like, that's right to an extent, of course, Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo would be the one that's like, hey, let's, let's hear her out, like, some horrible stuff has happened to me, like, her arms are cut off, you know, maybe you go kill Ruby. Maybe you kill Ruby's mom. Like, do these things that have, like, brutalized your team members no longer happen? Or does the timeline kind of just, like, fix itself? Like, time finds a way to make sure these horrible things happen anyway. Uh, time doesn't like being messed with. Like, does it, does it happen anyway? Or is everything hunky-dory perfect? Um... And, you know, Coulson and May are like, we can't just kill people before, like, you know, it's the, the old argument of, like, would you kill Hitler as a baby? Like, n like knowing what happens in the future, like, you all, you have that knowledge of, like, if you let this person live, they could turn into this horrible, horrible thing and you could kill them and end it, or you could place in their lives more positive things that could turn that into a positive. Like, they've literally seen the world in which Grant Ward, instead of being put with John Garrett and turning into a monster, they've seen the world where he's put with a positive influence and he's the good guy. So, like, they're like, why, why do we have to kill these people? Like, that's not who we are. You know, we've, we've, killed people in the past yes but i think oftentimes when they've killed people in the past it's been like in the moment when that person is already bad they haven't preemptively gone and killed people when they were young you know may killed that little girl but that little girl was i think in that moment that little girl was already evil like she enjoyed what she was doing and you know she was a kid yes but like in the moment there wasn't really an opportunity for May to put something else in her path to change that. Like, the only option in that situation was, was taking that girl out of the equation. Uh, so, you know, Cora's right to an extent of, like, if you make changes, like, you, you can positively change this timeline. Like, you are in a position where you don't have to worry about the old timeline. You're no longer in it you can change things for the better, but I think her methodology of how she wants to go about that is the wrong way. Similar to in the, Black, in the movie Black Panther. You know, Killmonger's right. Like, pretty much wholeheartedly, Killmonger is right about how the kingdom of Wakanda has, has failed the world and failed each other and needs to change but his methodology behind doing that is wrong where he's just like we're going to kill everybody you you can't you can't go about that route like and i think you know she's been indoctrinated by by Nathaniel and Sybil and she's just being used for other people's gain um you know she thinks that she's been freed from this horribly constrictive childhood where you know 
her mom and, and Lee and stuff, like, they didn't do everything perfectly. Like, last, last episode, Jai Ying says, like, as a mother, like, tries to do what's best for you, and sometimes, even with the best intentions, it comes out wrong. Um, you know, she thinks that, maybe she doesn't realize that her mom had the best, her, the best intentions going. She, she just thinks that she's been put in this spot of like controlling her and she thinks that she's being freed from that by Nathaniel and doesn't realize that she's just being used uh, and being indoctrinated with his own ideology of just chaos. Like he, he doesn't really have, other than chaos, he doesn't have an end goal. Uh, you know, the Chronicoms, they have an end goal of, of kill all the humans on the planet and just take their, just take the planet because, you know, they're in a fight for survival, but they're, instead of their survival just being like, oh, we need to protect our home planet and, and protect ourselves, like their, their home planet's gone. They're now in this, in the place of, we're just going to take this from someone else and instead of having a leader who's like, okay, you know, our time is gone. We just need to ride it out peacefully and, and accept that we're going to be gone. They have gone the vindictive route and decided to take from other people. Um, I liked Mac and Sousa talking. Uh, of Mac just being like, dude, what are your intentions with my daughter? Because, <laughs> I mean, to us to a certain extent or like you know mac is kind of like an older brother to daisy but he could like the actual actor could be like her dad she's she's what like 28 maybe uh the actual actor who plays mac is 50 what <laughs> he does not look 50 uh but he seuss is like uh i don't have any intention i'm just kind of She's kind of here, uh, and Max like, well, you better get some intentions because she's freaking into you. She likes you a whole lot, doesn't really fully know it yet, but when she does, you know that that's gonna hit you like a Mack truck. No pun intended. Like like how headstrong Daisy is when she when she realizes that she's into you, she gonna be into you, brother. Uh, so you better you better figure out what it is you're here for because if you hurt her not just mac not just may or colson but Gemma, deke uh you know if fitz was there fitz you know piper if she's still around the ghost of davis everyone and their mother will come and just beat you to death and then use all shields technology to kill you even more uh, and then they have a little laughing moment about her nickname, Quake, and it's just funny and cute and stuff. And then, yeah, it cuts more to the more to the past, future-ish stuff where Fitz and Gemma are building a time machine and Fitz is like, yo, let's just live our lives. And I want so badly for them to just be happy and live their life, but I can't help but feel like something bad happened, like Fitz got sick and she couldn't deal with that and it just sucks um Jai Ying sees her mother dead that's brutal um because as much as she felt confined by her she still loved her and like she's trying to bring her back and be like just take my energy and then she sees in the end you know she's crying like this sucks for her like she I don't think she ever necessarily thought that her mom was gonna die and if if she was gonna die I think she imagined her doing it and it, she probably imagined a situation where her mother was trying to hurt her or stop her or something like something that would fit her narrative of her mother being the bad guy but here she just sees her mother lying there dead there's nothing to fit that narrative and then May is actively telling her like you know telling telling her the truth being like your mom died to protect Daisy from Nathaniel and she I don't I don't know if she is like willing to accept that I I don't know um you know at the end you see her kissing Nathaniel and you're like ew 
stop it. That guy's a creepy edgelord grosso, like trench coat looking dumbo. Uh, and you're like, oh, I don't know if she's faking it. If she's like starting to realize that, you know, maybe he doesn't have her best interests at heart or maybe she's like fully on board. She's made the choice. She's, you know, she's decided she's not gonna turn to the good side and she's gonna go full evil, who knows? Um, but then, oh yeah, the, sh the Chronicom ships come in and just start melting shield bases. That shot where they blew up the Triskelion, that was pretty, that was, that was a real nice shot. That was beautiful. Um, you know, they're, they're killing all the shield agents, destroying shield. Uh, but you know, this, the old, the old saying, you know, shield is not dead until the last shield member is gone and fighting, you know, like as long as they're still fighting, shield is still here. Uh, and I think they said that, what was, what was that season, season three, season two, when they were just like a team of like eight people and they're like, shield is gone, it's disbanded. Uh, and Coulson was like, no, we are still the shield. It has to mean something. And I think I think they're they're gonna go down fighting. Uh, next episode is called "The End Is at Hand." That's part one of two for the series finale. I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> uh, like Shield is so freaking good. I wish they had had from the beginning a set seven seasons planned out. Um, Cause you know, the this season and last season, it almost doesn't feel like the end of the series. Um, and, you know, Fitz being gone for a lot of it because they didn't know they were going to be picked back up sucks. Um, you know, I wish they knew that this was going to be the se season or the end of the series a while ago instead of, you know, being like, oh, you're picked up for a final season. I wish they would have had, had this set in stone for a while. Um, then they could have planned something that felt a bit more final, but... So far, I've really enjoyed this season. I've loved this show so much. <sighs> Man, I don't know. This was a really, really good episode. Um, there there were so many little things in there that just, it makes you happy and sad and emotional and you're just like, oh, they're preparing me to rip my heart out in the next two episodes. I know they're gonna do it to me. Shield they're so good at just destroying you ah! I think I think those are all my thoughts uh let me know what you guys thought of this episode down below in the comments you know how do you feel about shield ending are you sad are you as broken-hearted as I am how do you feel about Daisy and Sousa uh you know what do you think about Cora and her connection with Nathaniel is that was that as gross for you as it was for me? I didn't like that at all. Uh, yeah. But yeah, those are all my thoughts for this episode. Uh, I'll try and get the season, uh, episode 12 and 13 out a little quicker. It's been like, it's been like, uh, what, like 10 days since I put out last, more than 10 days. It's been like almost two weeks since I put up my last Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. So I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying to get these out quicker. Uh, just work and stuff has gotten in the way. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being here though. Like my little shield fam, my all all fifteen of you. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot a lot of the people on my channel are here because of uh, Outer Banks or or some other show, uh, or you know Star Wars or whatever. But I I feel like we got like they said in in a in a a season or two ago shield like we have a small but active fan base <laughs> so i am i'm grateful for you guys being here uh it means a lot um but i'll catch you guys next time peace